Do you think you do a good job of monitoring and managing your thoughts? Do you feel like you can catch yourself when your thoughts start to go a little off the rails and kind of recheck yourself and get back on track? Are you able to make sure to recheck your thoughts to be heading in the direction that you want to be in life? I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach, and the topic today is your mind is a garden, your thoughts are the seeds. So why is it important to keep our thoughts in check? Well, thoughts have energy, okay? They can be building up even when we aren't conscious of them, okay? We play these loops in our head, often that come from our subconscious, of old uh, issues uh, in our life, and then they're just looping your head like, I'm not good enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not smart enough, um, those type of things, and um, they can be looping and they're producing that energy, and your cells are always listening, okay? Also, we want to be putting out the best intention and energy possible at all times so we can actually manifest what we want. And sometimes you have to check yourself and you have to write that script and you have to speak those words and practice saying them until they really resonate with you and become true and then become your default. And then when something pops up, your new language sounds a little bit more like, I got this, I can handle anything, I'm capable, I'm strong, those type of things. But you may need to rewrite the script. Also, thoughts can be like cancer. They can rise up from things we heard as a child, or they can be toxic things, um, you know, we say to ourselves. And that energy can make us tired and sick and emotional and um, even cause disease. And so you have to be very careful with what you're letting run through here. Here's a couple quotes for you. You don't have to control your thoughts. You just have to stop letting them control you. Dan Millman. Your mind is a garden. Your thoughts are the seeds. You can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. Unknown. So on a scale of one to 10, how well do you think you regulate your thoughts? And how could you keep improving this skill? Don't worry, I got your back today. <laughs> Three ways to keep your thoughts in check. You're like, yeah, Sage, I could really use some help on those thoughts right now. Okay, well, I've got you. Here's number one, become aware. You may not even realize how rude you are to yourself or how negative you get about certain situations until you start paying attention, okay? So become aware. Number two, you've got to practice redirecting yourself. And I, I mentioned this briefly earlier, but um, you need to reprogram your language. So, um, you know, if, if you, you hear these thoughts popping up like, oh, I can't do this, oh, I, I'm not capable to do this, and you hear that stuff, you have to come up with your go-to phrase that's going to override that every single time. Like, I'm strong and capable and I can handle anything. And then that just reprograms that loop. Then number three, practice intention and gratitude. These are so huge for shifting your energy. So you need to decide what you want your day to look like as you're driving to work. You need to decide when your head's hitting the pillow all the things that you were grateful for for that day and um, the peace you intend for your rest overnight all of this stuff is is practice and you wouldn't be good at speaking in public without practicing you wouldn't be good at um, you know doing a math equation without practicing you have to practice these these thoughts and these loops until they just become the new energy that you're carrying around. So circling around, your mind is a garden and your thoughts are the seeds. So which of these three tips can you start using today? 
becoming aware, practicing redirecting yourself, and practicing intention and gratitude. All right, here's your intention for today. I am the captain of my ship. <laughs> yes, you are. You are. You know how I know that? Because you're watching this video. Because you actually want to grow. Because you actually want to keep becoming a better version of yourself. And that's awesome, especially when we do it together. Because that raises all of our energy. Right? So join me at Sage Robinson Miller on YouTube, Growing Sage on Facebook, and my website to book a session, growingsagejourney.com. I appreciate every minute you're with me. Love ya.